Hi, family. Uh, this is your news report of Maryland Dash 20 Maryland Lee. Today is October the 6th in my city, Chicago. Tricky Tuesday. The year is supposed to be 2020. Now, this is very serious because we, I'm going to start doing, and my Mary McAmyers need to do the same thing. No more than like emergency videos or one minute videos if you feel like something is, you know, pertaining to you. Because, you know, in AA, they said, you know, if you don't drink drug or smoke, it said your phone bill will be high, but you won't. So, you know, I used to get unlimited, um, you know, text, talk, and data. You understand what I'm saying? Now it's just unlimited text and talk, and I don't text and talk nobody. So, you know, what I like, they started, you know, chipping to and trying to make me pay, you know, constantly or whatever and stuff for uh, stuff that I like. So, you know, I'm not able to do videos as long as, as I used to and stuff. So, you know, basically we're going to listen or be observing of our surroundings and stuff. You know, I know they watch my every move in this trap house and that's why I'm not giving them any more money and stuff. So I'm in a process of waiting for them, you know, to tell me I got to get the fuck out or whatever the fuck, you know, because, you know, they lied to get me up in here because they was dying and they needed me. So that's why they fucked me around in 2016. And, you know, gave me cancer and stuff because they knew I'd be fighting to, you know, come back. And then they, I would be able to, you know, I, they would know a lot about me and I would be upset. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. But I'm not a person that holds resentments or, you know, none of that bullshit. I just move the fuck on or, you know, I wait till it die out or whatever the fuck. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, the government... You know, they ain't giving up no money. They're supposed to give motherfuckers some more money or whatever and stuff. You know, they trying to play me for my SSI and stuff. So I know what it is. And they trying to make me a hustler, but I'm not a hustler. I'm an entrepreneur. I made my money already before all this bullshit took place or whatever and stuff. And that's what they trying to pimp me out of. What they say in the pimp game, uh, purse first, ass last and stuff. So they trying to break me and shit. And that's why every time the police arrest me for no apparent reason, you know, they steal all my shit. So I have to start over again. So that's the game they playing. And um, that's why they put me in this trap house because they know I would either die or have to, you know, make some moves or whatever and stuff. So Chicago is, is fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? You know, the people came and uh, what they say, uh, um, migrated here made a killing because they heard of me, you know, and I was, you know, making, I'm your ghetto news reporter, Maryland, that's between Mary Lee, but I'm the originator of rap, and because they, what they do to native kids and stuff, children, you know, they, you know, they fuck them around as a baby, molest them and abuse them and stuff, and then they keep them alive long enough to make them want to work and, you know, come up and feel some kind of way, and they give them enough leeway to make themselves feel good, or they become what the predator has done to them, you understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I'm giving you real fucking game if this is what you want to call it. They say game is to be sold and not told, but uh, if you're a real motherfucker, you would pass this on without getting paid or identify with what I'm saying either way. And even if you do get paid and stuff, you know, at least, you know, pass it on to the people who you know, you know, need to know and stuff and stop, you know, pimping these kids out here because they're not as dumb as my generation or me. At when I was growing up, see, I got played by the last generation, not the last, you know, the generation before me, let's put it like that. And because I was adamant and, you know, about being somebody, and I am somebody regardless of what happens if I become homeless again, you understand what I'm saying? I've never been homeless and stuff for real, for real, as an adult until, you know, it was time for me to um, represent myself and put their ass to the sideline and shit. You understand what I'm saying? For real, because I had new... I knew they had made enough money off of me because I could feel it. I wouldn't get nowhere. I've been doing this for 47 years, ever since I was six years old, and I'm 73. My fault. I'm, I'm um, 53 right now, but um, in 1973, you know, I was six years old. You have to excuse me because it's funny, it's sad at the same time. That, you know, I really be wanting, you know, snap, crack, and pop, but I have to keep a, you know, professional personality and um, demeanor about myself because. That's who my real Mary McAmyers, you know, know me as or whatever. And I feel really bad about them because, you know, they really thought, you know, they could come up off of me or whatever. But like little baby Sage, you know, he used to sell weed or whatever. And they remember him from selling weed. But I, you know, I sold general merchandise, you know, and, you know, you know, 
cassette tapes, socks, whatever stuff like that. I actually did it the right way and stuff because I knew crime didn't pay. But, you know, we, you know, that's not as bad as crack cocaine or whatever and stuff. And that's why they made weed legal after arresting so many people for, you know, selling weed. Say the government don't give a fuck about nobody. If you do it right, they fuck you around. If you do it wrong, they fuck you around. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, we have to play the game and watch the game as it unfolds and change and stuff. Because a lot of changes are happening and stuff. And they're trying to turn real motherfuckers that they have robbed, such as myself, into slaves and stuff. Back in the day, your ID would say Mary Lee Davis. Now I say Davis Mary Lee. You understand what I'm saying? Because I guess they're trying to make it a slave master's name or something. But I've never been a slave. I've always been independent and I'm not going to be a slave and stuff. I don't give a fuck. I would die before that. I'm like Harriet Tubman. Give me, you know, liberty or give me death. And whoever else said it. You understand what I'm saying? For real. So, motherfuckers before me knew how this fucking program worked. You understand? Because that's all it is. It's a program that everybody, but nobody, you know, if you don't know, what you don't know will kill you. What you do know will kill you. You understand what I'm saying? And once you know, you understand what I'm saying? And the motherfuckers you know, realize that, you know, they feel like they got to kill you because they don't know if you're going to kill them and stuff. I mean, think about what they did to me. they giving me cancer, taste me in my kidney, raped me as a little girl by, with five guys or whatever, you know, doing that to me and stuff. And they had an audacity to make a restaurant called Five Guys. And now that I know what's going on, I can peep game and see it for what it is. Thank God, for real. They have, um, they have changed the name of the Five Guy restaurants. A lot of the, um, Restaurants are changing names and they changing up my story, you know, and they're trying to you understand what I'm saying they're trying to make it a black and white thing instead of a you know a colored Native American for real for real. You understand what I'm saying people of color, Negro, whatever you want to call us and stuff now. Real talk. So you know, they pimping my people and stuff, or whoever comes up. If you notice anybody that comes up in the world that's worth a lot of money, they end up dead or you know, in prison for a long period of time or you know, just think about Jesus, what they did to Jesus or whatever for all you religious people out there. I'm not religious, but I had to tap into the Bible and psych it and spirituality to realize, you know, I'm no different than Jesus. And they want to label me crazy, just like they label Jesus and stuff. After Jesus helped all them motherfucking disciples and things of that nature. Like, I've helped so many people, millions and billions and stuff, for real. Because I thought they would turn around and help me. But all they did was bring me to a trap house, hoping to God that I would die, give up on myself, or become a drug addict, alcoholic, or a fucking whore or something, or oh, all three, you understand what I'm saying, real fucking talk, and you know, that's real disgusting and stuff, because they expect something from me, but they, you know, they don't give me anything, you know, to, to feel proud about, other than, you know, the fact that I'm still sober, you know, you might not be able to say nobody but yourself when it's all said and done, and when you have more vultures, vo- vultures around you, you know, you really have to step your game up. Now, a few of these motherfuckers have come in, you know, got nice cars and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't been here a hot second and shit, but they driving. Now, I'm not mad at that. I got my license when I first got here over three years ago. I can go get me a, um, you know, uh, um, you know, a you, not a used car, but a, um, you know, rent a car. You understand what I'm saying? But now, if I want to rent a car, they say, oh, you need a MasterCard and stuff. Because so many people have played them in the past by running off with the cars and stuff like that. But when it come to me, I need a, a, a credit card or something. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, even if I want to do something just to have a little enjoyment, it's always a problem for me. Because they are the ones that's robbing and stealing, killing and stuff to, you know, try to take over what I built and what my real Mary McAmara's have built and stuff. So, you know, I'm just watching the shit like a fucking game or a movie and stuff because, you know, every day is a new day and stuff, real talk. So, Mary McAmire, you have to be on your P's and Q's. You have to watch out for anybody that's next to you and stuff that look like a problem. If you see the same people over and over and over again, you know they are a problem. Like uh, Tupac said, you know, every other city you go, you know, see the same old hoe, even in your environment. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So, yeah, every time I leave the block... Like, I, I was leaving the day and stuff. The same guy, when I was washing yesterday, he going to say, oh, you washing and stuff. What are you noticing me for? I don't even know you. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So I didn't say nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Then I leave the day. You know, he, he'll be on my he on my trail again and stuff. He just wanted me to see his car. And I'm like, look, dude, you talking to me. Mary Lee, I'm dash 20 Mary Lee. You'll get a news reporter once a motherfucker player and everything. You understand? I, can, I wrote the goddamn script. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. 
and how, how to be cool and stuff. So, you know, I crossed the street because, you know, he was too close to me and stuff, you know, and I guess he thought, you know, oh, she think I'm going to the, you know, I know how they think. think oh, she think I'm going to the bus stop. Watch this, you understand? So he got in the little car or whatever and stuff. I don't care. I hope everybody come the fuck up. But until I see what I want, and that's a drop-top, T-top Cadillac truck, you understand what I'm saying? Y'all ain't doing nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's my idea. You understand what I'm saying? Now, they came up with a drop top Cadillac truck to piss me off. It's on YouTube or whatever. Google this shit. But that's my idea. So I switched it up and said, a drop top T-top Cadillac truck. If I don't see it in fucking goddamn person, you understand what I'm saying? Like these motherfuckers see me, the best, for real, for real. You know, they just, they on some, you know, trying to, trying to make me. They want this block. They can have it. It's all these dogs and shit. I don't want to be stepping in shit. You know, my shoes, you know, cost money and shit for real. And that's, they knew I would come in this motherfucker trying to make myself feel good or whatever. So they, 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 they judge people by their shoes and shit. Oh, she got nice shoes. She must got some money. No, bitch, I just got a little self-esteem about myself. I've never been one of the motherfuckers that, you know, even when I was homeless, you know, looking like shit. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what they mad about and stuff. Like, oh, all the shit we done did to her and she's still maintaining. Yes, that's what I have to do. That's my job is to look out for myself because ain't nobody else going to do it. So we on a selfish motherfucking trip this time. You understand what I'm saying? I've given them a whole bunch of game, if that's what you want to call this video. Uh, game is to be sold, though, from now on, y'all. Not told and shit. Real fucking talk. You understand what I'm saying? If they can't give you nothing, Mary McAmyers, don't get them now. You know, they pick up on game while we doing it, if that's what they want to call it, because it's not, I don't play games. You understand what I'm saying? This is my life for real. You understand what I'm saying? So be it. You know, observation works. You know, I looked at a lot of things and seen a lot of things, but if you got the knowledge and don't do nothing with it, you just, you know, you just got knowledge. Nigga, you got to get up and get out and check check out what's going on. Niggas can look at the fucking game on on YouTube all motherfucking day or whatever and shit and still be dumb as a box of rocks and shit because experience is the best teacher and that's why I keep whooping their ass and shit but they don't want you, my real Mary McAmyers, to benefit nor do they want me and that's unfortunate for them because I got a lot of Mary McAmyers all around the world, real talk. So when Tupac said all around the world same song when I was coming up, they meant that shit. And in Atlanta, I was listening to um, T.I.'s wife and shit and they said they don't even wear masks and they, they going to parties and they not, you know, you know, they going to um, lunch and dinner, you know, they, they kicking it in this shit, you understand what I'm saying, real talk. So we might have to pay them another visit when this pandemic is over with, you understand what I'm saying, at least me, you understand what I'm saying, because I've proven who the fuck I am, and that's a real motherfucking shit. Shout out to T.I., I ain't, I ain't mad at you and shit, I'm like, motherfucking goddamn it, Tupac when it come to that. I'm not mad at my real motherfuckers and shit who had to do what they had to do and shit that came up with me, but I am a little upset at the fact that, you know, y'all motherfuckers thought I wasn't as attentive, you understand what I'm saying, as you motherfuckers was and shit, you understand what I'm saying, because T.I., he came out with, you know, I'm serious, you understand what I'm saying, to let everybody know I'm serious, and I'm still is serious about me, you know, and, you know, my Mary McNamara's and stuff, because we're not going to build this fucking goddamn world again, mm -mm. we're not going to do it, y'all going to help us this time, for real, because you got enough money, I'm talking to all the ones that came up off of me and my Mary McNamara's, you got enough money, property prestige, and then you need us to fill it, we ain't got the fucking rent, nigga, so that's why I'm not paying nothing, because I've given, 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 given more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, these motherfuckers would have never gotten shit for real, I am very, very articulate, smart, and, um, you know, wise, beyond my years, and they knew to hold me for last and stuff, to try to pimp me for my mind and shit, but, you know, I got plenty of diamonds in my mind, motherfucker, for real. So the ones you stole from me, see if the motherfuckers talk for you, for real. Other than, you know, bling, bling, money ain't a thing. You understand what I'm saying? For real. So, you know, a friend is better than money, property, and prestige, for real. Because you can go anywhere in the world with a friend. But this building I'm in, going to always be stationed until somebody tear this motherfucker down. And I hope that's what's coming when I leave up out this motherfucker. Because what they did to me, you know, I've never fucked with nobody's car, never fucking scratched it, never did anything ruthless, but the motherfuckers shitted on me. But don't worry about it. I'm going to get the last last as always. So, you know, don't let them drive you crazy, Mary McAmyers and shit. My next video is going to be like,
you know, emergency videos or, you know, one or two minutes long because Boost Mobile, we breaking up at the beginning of the year. With that, this is Good News Reporter, Mary Dash, Penny Mary Lee. Peace.